Good afternoon, everybody. I just got off work. Sarah picked me up. Yeah, we ate dinner in the car. We ate dinner in the car because Sarah had to run some errands, pick up a friend from the airport to drive him to a, a job interview. So since we only have one car, she had to use my our car. I almost called it my car. She had to use the car to go pick him up from the airport and bring him to the, the job interview. So that was nice of her. So she picked me up, so we, she brought dinner with, so we could just go straight to Disney. And that's where we are. I was going to suggest uh -oh. that we went to CityWalk today. What? <laughs> I mean, I do work close to close to Disney or to Universal, and we'd have to pay for parking. We're gonna get our passes eventually. We have had some comments about asking what if we're gonna do anything else in Orlando besides <laughs> Disney, and we will. Just not as much. We will go to the beach as we already went. We will go downtown. We will go to Orlando City Games. We'll go to Magic Games. It's just easy to go in the week to Disney. Yeah. And we are going to get an annual pass eventually to Universal. It's just a little bit more money up front. And we're getting our Disney fix. couldn't tell. We've been relaxing at this beach for like forever. Hi. We literally have always wanted to. <laughs> Sarah's back there. But we've always talked about just hanging out on this beach even though there's nothing to do here besides just relax. And that's what we're doing. But I never actually saw the back side of this famous awesome slide that goes in a storm along bay. Look at this giant ship. So you enter from the, across from the like outside of the pool you come in through a gate and you go up one, one big set of stairs, a second spiral set of stairs, into the slide, into the Stormlong Bay. And there's this cool, the whole thing's a giant boat. Albatross. And look at that, I wanna go in there, but you have to stay here. <gasps> the pool begins there. I don't know there's a pool right there either. So here's my other plan. Let me know if this is ridiculous or not. While we were relaxing on the beach, I looked up and because of the impending storms in the Florida and southeast section of America, um, there's actually like a bunch of, not a bunch, but like there's some availability popping up for DVC. I think Saturday evening through Monday is when the hurricane comes here. So uh, like though it would be safe to stay in a Disney resort, I like, like I saw a beach a beach club uh, availability for I think Saturday night and like it'd be great because we can go to the pool but if there's a hurricane outside might not be good for the pool but it'd be fun to just relax in the hotel so we'll see that's I, this much of a chance that's gonna happen only time will tell okay Look at this beautiful, beautiful pool. It is massive, it is glorious, and all I want to do is go swimming in it. I want to go, I want to go here, have a hot dog, go swimming, there for like six hours, and then go have two Sundays. Sound like a plan? Nice date night? Yeah. We just found Sarah's weakness. A classic, delicious looking, smelling, sounding, random quick service look, cafeteria looking thing in the beach club that we've never seen before. It's like their gift shop and their quick service all in one. I will say, we have a notorious, notorious habit of doing something.
and those each of us has our own individual stories to tell. A true adventure emerges when we bring them all together as one. We hope you enjoy our story tonight, Reflections of Earth. going to the park randomly like just now it was spectacular it was a wonderful one <laughs> right in front of the firework camp. yeah we've i mean like we know kind of where they are but like we didn't go to i know when they go off i don't yeah we know, know where when they, they go off not where and like we didn't go to illuminations during a college program like we did wishes yeah. or phantasmic and like we don't go to it's not like spaceship or sunday is illumination sunday like we like Fantastic Friday is like we love Illuminations. It's one of our favorites. We just don't go to it as often as other shows, even though we love it just as much or more. Even though we, were, we watched it last night. Yeah, but last night was like we watched it from afar. We would walk, stop, we couldn't see yeah. stuff. Today it was like it was all it had all of our attention. And if anybody knows, every single time now that we've seen it since we've been back, the fire, the torch hasn't like gone off inside the globe mm -hmm. and like I mean I guess there was lightning tonight but there wasn't no I, I think if something's else, wrong with it if, if you know why refurbishment, tell us because we will, we're we've curious. also heard rumors that they're gonna get rid of it and I'm terrified so mm -hmm. if anybody knows rumors mm -hmm. or why that's going on please let us know our camera is about to go kaputs so I think this is where we're gonna say it yeah because even though we're not at home look where we are we are home yes. and it is good to be home <laughs> Thumbs up, comment, subscribe, tell tomorrow's us, already tomorrow's already Thursday, if you're in the area, Hurricane Iram is not going to come until, the, what is it? Irma? Irma, Hurricane Irma <laughs> isn't coming for a while, so we're still doing Fantastic Fridays, so let us know, and it's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish, and believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>